Hi there, Carl Massey here, founder of World's Biggest Human, author of the Guidebook to Happiness. 21 chapters, 21 lessons, and lots of happiness strategies, and that's about what I'm going to give you here today. Now, I'm in Bali, I wanted to film this with a bit of the rice field backdrop, but the lighting wasn't quite right, so I've got this contrived thing, and I've put on a, a nice shirt, so it sort of gets in the theme. I've just gone for a run, so I'm a little bit sweaty as well, so this is, this is raw video footage. Um, so what I want to do is, is talk about a very quick happiness strategy. So in the book, I'm, I'm all about happiness strategies all the way through. So here's a great one. This happiness strategy is to catch yourself if you're in a funk. A lot of times, if we catch ourselves in a, a poor emotional state, so we have um, negative emotions for whatever reason, what we tend to do is end up looking down. Now this does a couple of things. As we look down, it affects our breathing. As we look down, we start doing this internal dialogue and start talking to ourselves, internal feelings, and we start getting ourselves more and more in the little funk we're doing. The other thing from a brain perspective is because we're down there, we can't see around here. One thing our brain is always on the alert for is safety, security, warnings, threat. If it's only looking down there and I've only got this much perspective, then my brain is like on high alert because it's not gonna see anything unless it comes in close. So how do we counter this? What is the happiness strategy? As soon as you catch yourself in the funk, just go, whoa, I'm doing the funky thing again, and then change it. And the change is, we lift our head up, put a smile on our face, which starts some, um, what's the name, chemicals, some neurochemicals within your brain to start moving through our body, changing our emotional state at a chemical level. As we look up, we get a broader perspective. So suddenly again, our mind can wind down this, this fight or flight response that's got on high alert because we can see much greater distance. So we can actually tell whether something's coming, whether we're under threat. The other thing is we lift our head up, we start breathing. As we lift our head up, open our shoulders up, we start breathing more. Now breathing allows us to get more oxygen into our body, more oxygen means more oxygen to our brain, which means we get smarter. So there you go, very simple happiness strategy. The, the guidebook to happiness is packed with heaps of strategies. And I get into a little bit of theory so you understand specifically the do's and don'ts when it comes to your happiness. And because I've traveled around the world, I know the importance of a good guidebook. So that's what it's all about. The do's and don'ts, how to get to where you want to get to and have the most fun along the way. So I hope that you're having a fantastic, awesome day wherever you are on this incredible, wonderful planet of ours. Have an absolutely fantastic day and take care.